Debt will collapse any country. This isn't just in the US or in Europe. It is all around the world. And today I'm going to talk to you about why China is having a huge problem that will ultimately slow that country down and bring it to its knees. So let's take a look at the articles today. China surpasses the US with $14 trillion in corporate debt. That is unbelievably massive. Yes, they do have a much wider population, but the increase in this corporate debt just over the last decade has been dramatic and it cannot be sustained. Let's take a look at what they said. Borrowers from China had $14 trillion in debt at the end of last year, exceeding every other country including the U.S. Now the U.S. debt problem is undoubtedly the biggest in the world but when you look at the numbers you're seeing that china has actually exceeded that when you're looking at the corporate debt countries uh, companies and the countries are getting into debt they cannot get out of they can't dig themselves out of this one and there has been this china u.s relationship this is a, a chapter that i actually devoted to in my book about the u.s and china relationship how china has been purchasing more and more debt of the u.s keeping it going but when china runs into its own problems, it's not going to be able to pick up the pace like it used to. And then you have the issues, uh, for example, this here, a uh, modern ghost town. This is in China where they built entire cities that have now remained empty. There's nothing there at all. They're building them in the most gigantic public works project that has ever existed. Let's go on major major housing bubble is the achilles heel of the chinese economy so the housing prices there in some areas had gone up so dramatically that it was uh, seen as a big bubble well that is continuing and china's property bubble has burst according to some analysts and they're saying that this is not going to stop the country's economy could slow dramatically unless beijing steps in with new stimulus measures and isn't that the case for anywhere you see every time a country is in trouble they don't let the crashes occur they come in with a stimulus package like the tarp package like the uh, central banks printing up money there's always some sort of stimulus needed to keep it going that is with the low interest rates now they're going to the negative interest rates they never let the crashes occur and that's why we have problems in the first place because they're just band-aid fixes if you like this type of information you need to be an insider that's where the best intel is and that is totally free it's at themoneygps.com at the bottom. You fill in your email address and you get short, concise emails from me.